Joining me right now is Texas Senator Ted Cruz, the ranking member of the Senate Commerce Committee and a member of the Senate Judiciary and Foreign Affair, uh, Foreign Relations Committees. Senator, it's great to see you this morning. Thanks very much for joining me this morning. Maria, good morning. Good to be with you. I want to get into policy here, but first, give us your reaction to this trial in New York. Uh, it, it, it's an absolute circus. It's a disgrace. Uh, this is all about Democrats weaponizing the justice system, trying to, number one, destroy Donald Trump, but number two, what they're really trying to do, their real target is the American people. This is an assault on democracy. The reason you've seen four Democrat prosecutors indict President Trump in the last year is they are terrified that the voters are going to vote in November to reelect him as president. They're trying to do everything they can to stop it. If Donald Trump's name were anything else, if he were Donald Smith, this case never would have been brought. This is all about a partisan smear job. It is disgraceful. Uh, and sadly, it is a sign of just how radical and extreme the Democrat Party has, has become. Well, I mean, the, the Federalist is reporting this. Anti-Trump DOJ officials are preparing attacks on his appointees. You know, we're seeing uh, Republicans talk about the DOJ tipping the yeah. scales and, you know, uh, bullying uh, whistleblowers. Is there anything you can do about any of this as an elected official? So there's a lot you can do, but, but to do it, we've got to win in November. So the fundamental problem in the executive branch is that Joe Biden is putting a bunch of corrupt left-wing radicals in office, and this is the most lawless administration we've ever seen. Merrick Garland is the most political and partisan attorney general in history. He has abused the power of the Department of Justice. He has turned the Department of Justice, the FBI, and the CIA, and the entire alphabet soup of Washington into weapons to attack his political enemies. It is utterly shameless. There are two standards of justice, one for for the friends of the White House. And for the friends of the White House, they use the government to protect them, uh, including especially Joe Biden and Hunter Biden, where they do everything they can to protect them and cover up their criminality and corruption. But for enemies of, of the White House, they go after them, they abuse power, and it is profoundly dangerous. There's a lot we can do, but, the, but we've got to win in November and then put in place strong, principled leaders who will clean out the corrupt career bureaucrats who have, who have distorted, who have weaponized the Department of Justice and law enforcement. And, and listen, on the congressional side, we need a majority in the Senate. I think we're going to win a majority in the Senate in November, and it is dramatically different. Right now, Chuck Schumer is the majority leader, and that means he controls what's on the floor. That means he just announced a, uh, a couple of days ago he's not even going to allow a vote on what the House just passed to free up the weapons going to Israel. Israel's in the middle of a war in the Middle East. Joe Biden and the Democrats are holding those weapons hostage while they are funneling money to Hamas. It is utterly disgraceful. I'll tell you this, though, Maria, I'm going to force a vote on the Senate floor in the next two weeks on shutting down Joe Biden's money going to build the pier for Hamas in Gaza. And I'm using the War Powers Resolution. The reason I'm doing that is it's one of the very few vehicles that Chuck Schumer can't stop that I, can, I I can force a vote. I'm going to get every Democrat on record. Do you support this radical policy of funding Hamas and cutting off weapons to Israel it is exactly backwards from what any rational policy would be? Well, we're going to be watching that for sure. In the meantime, lots of your colleagues are worried that this wide open border is, is by design, that Joe Biden and yes. the Democrats want to turn them into voters. And your uh, opponent in this upcoming election, uh, Representative Colin Allred, the Democrat nominee in the Texas Senate race, attended a campaign-related event and handed out cards with instructions to help illegal yeah. immigrants evade law enforcement and potential deportation. The Know Your Rights cards were handed out during a recent coordinated campaign event. I want to get your take on this as this person is running for your seat in Texas. Yeah. And uh, do you believe that there are plans afoot to turn some of these illegals coming through the border uh, into voters in this November election? And what can you do about it? Look, unquestionably, if you look at this invasion at the southern border, we have had 11 million people come illegally into this country under Joe Biden. That is deliberate. That is by design. Joe Biden and the Democrats did it on purpose. You're right. My opponent, Colin Allred, is a hard left Democrat. His first four years in the House, he voted identically at 100 percent with Nancy Pelosi. He's voted in favor of open borders over and over and over again. So, of course, he's handing out cards to illegal immigrants, telling them 
how to avoid detection. The Democrats want 11 million illegal immigrants here. Why? Because they want every one of them to be future Democrat voters. And okay. tragically, they're willing to turn the other way and ignore the death and the suffering. You know, you're putting up video right now of what yeah. happened at Quantico. Two okay. illegal aliens released by Joe Biden tried to break into Quantico, two Jordanians in a box truck. Now, thankfully, the military police caught him, caught them. But, you know, in, in the last several years, more than 100 Chinese nationals have tried to break into U.S. military bases. This is the consequences of the Democrats' open borders, and wow. it is making every one of us in America and every family in America far more vulnerable. Yeah, and Fox News Digital uh, saw those Know Your Rights cards, and on the cards, it, it's things like, do not open the door if an immigration agent is knocking on the door. Do not answer any questions from an immigration agent if they try to talk to you. You have the right to remain silent. I mean, Customs and Border yep. Patrol has encountered nearly 200 migrants on the terrorist watch list since October. You mentioned the Jordanian nationals in ICE custody right now. They tried to breach Quantico, Senator. And this is increasingly happening where you're seeing yes. the Chinese also want to get into our military installations. What, you know, why would Joe Biden allow this? Power. It is the most cynical decision possible. They look at those illegal immigrants and they say they'll vote okay. for us. They'll vote for the Democrats. And by the way, to show you how cynical the Democrats are, my opponent, Colin Allred, just just booked a half million dollars of TV ads where he claims we're going to secure the border mm -hmm. while he's handing out cards to illegal aliens wow. saying, here's how you avoid detection. It's just lying to the voters. It's profoundly cynical. All right, Senator, thanks very much for joining me this morning. Ted Cruz this morning in Texas. We'll be right